person. Quit parsing around. Quit parsing around. John Person. Do you know how hard my life has been? Everywhere I go, people tell me to quit forcing around. In fact, today, it's already happened recently. Somebody got a microphone, called me out, first and last name, like I'm a little kid, and said, don't horse around. They even did it twice. <laughs> Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, and innocent guests. <laughs> the buck stops here. Now hold your horses, hold your horses. <laughs> Let's not put the cart before the horse. Let, let me explain this from the beginning. It all started with my grandmother. You see, she would feed me oatmeal. I hated oatmeal. I couldn't stand it. And when I would sit down to eat it, there was nothing else I wanted to do. And one day, I stood up on the table. Grandma, give me divinity or give me death. Well, if you had divinity for breakfast, you probably would die. That's a very sugary sweet. <laughs> you need something healthy. I have some lovely horse pills if you finish all your oatmeal. <laughs> horse pills? I wasn't about to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> so I ate my oatmeal and headed on over to the cupboard where I got her horse pills. I started pulling them out. What is this thing? It's like, it's like Mary Poppins' magic bag. This pill is enormous. I finally got it out. It's about as tall as the Eiffel Tower. As big as a whale. Grandma, nobody can eat this thing. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. I'm going to need a pretty big spoon. Here goes. And with one gulp, I took it in. Oh, I'm choking. Oh, 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 it's chewable. <laughs> I don't have to swallow. I'm fine. Oh, I'm not. Oh, and then it started. Oh, the hiccups and the. Oh, and the. Oh, and then all of a sudden, a big, gigantic hiccup came in and a tail burst out. And then I sneezed. Oh, and a snout came out. What's happening? Oh, I'm a horse! I'm a horse in white! And my tail waving around, and my fancy mane. Oh, Grandma, this is fantastic! Oh, nothing can stop me now! Oh! Now, I really was horsing around. <laughs> and Grandma looked at me and said, You need to quit horsing around. I said, Grandma, I just feel funny. I mean, oh, it's hunger. I'm as hungry as a horse, of course. I started eating everything in the house. I grabbed up the rest of the pills. It was all that was left. I stabbed them across my face. I looked like Cookie Monster eating away. Oh, it was delicious. Oh, but not nutritious. And then my stomach started hurting. Oh, I should have had that last pill. And then it grew bigger. The sneezes. Uh, uh, I too! The enormous air gust I had created blew off the hinges from the door. The trees fell down. The sun went out like a candle on a birthday cake. Boop. I looked around in the dark, my head throbbing. Grandma? And then I felt it. I had a scepter of power. I wasn't just any horse now. I was a unicorn, the most glorious horse there ever was. I could dance, I could sing, I could do anything. I let the light come back onto the universe. I even created a stable environment. <laughs> Grandma looked at me, and even after all of that, 
She said, you need to quit horsing around. You need to get off your high horse. It's all your imagination. Those are just pills that I use when I have a sore throat. She even dared to say, it was a tall tale. But I know the truth, and you know the truth too. You are a witness to the tale. <laughs> <laughs> and you heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Madam Contest Chair.